Hey guys, King Kaiju here. Today we're going to be doing a Kaiju review. And of course, this is episode 70. Now, by the title, you've seen which figure I'm going to be reviewing today, but for a while, I was kind of contemplating which one I really wanted to do. For a second, I thought that I would do the Playmates Legendary Godzilla, as it's a pretty good standardized version of the character and probably the best representation of Legendary Goji I have. I thought maybe that I would review Space Godzilla, the 2018 iteration, although it is not the Big G himself, it is still a pretty good figure of Space Godzilla, and it's a figure I have not reviewed yet. But alas, I decided I would review neither of these figures, and I instead decided on the Bandai Creations 1954 Godzilla. This is a figure that is nearly two decades old at this point, and it's probably one of the better representations of 1954 Godzilla that's ever been put out. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the detail section. If I bring this guy close up, you'll see that it doesn't really look like another Bandai Creations release. Like I said during the Burning Godzilla review, this does look like a standard Bandai vinyl figure. It is pretty good quality, it feels good to hold, and the paint is pretty good too. It kind of dimmers out here in the tail a little bit, but overall it still looks pretty neat. The only thing that I'm not too big of a fan of, and I'm sure a few people have pointed this out before, is that the tongue is painted red. Obviously this is the 1954 Godzilla, so I firmly believe he should be black and white and not have any color besides those ones, but it is what it is. Another big criticism I hear a lot for this figure is that it's very straight up. If you've ever watched the film, you'll notice that he's always kind of hunched over a little bit. He's never really straight up like this. That's more of a Godzilla Raids Again thing. It doesn't bother me too much, but I definitely understand what some people mean by that. Kind of a weird sculpt thing is that his left arm looks like that for whatever reason. His right arm is normal looking, but his other one just kind of looks a little weird. As for articulation, it's pretty basic. He has, of course, in his arms, he can throw his arms up like that and he can slash them down, but his legs can also kick. They look fine. And his tail is a very, very, very tight uh, rotation. I'm not sure if this was meant to be like an actual rotation joint or something. It's very, very tight, and I'm not going to really try and force it because I don't want to break the figure. But five points for articulation. It's not the standard six that you would sometimes see in other Bandai Creations releases, but you know what? I will take it. And moving Godzilla off to the side, we'll, we'll compare him to a few figures, starting off with the Bandai 2018 Space Godzilla. Now, this is a pretty tall figure, as is, as I'm sure a few of you guys who own the figure would know, but the 1954 Godzilla can comfortably look him in the eye, and it's actually about as tall as he is, even with the crown-like horn on his head. And I'll also compare him to the Playmates legendary Godzilla. Playmates actually made this Godzilla a little short, so the Bandai Creations one comfortably looks him right in the eyes. And finally, I'll compare him to a Godzilla figure that I'm sure a lot of other people have. It's probably the other most famous Godzilla figure in a lot of people's collections, and it is the original Bandai Heisei Godzilla. And yeah, again, comfortably looks this figure directly in its face. These are two of the most famous representations of the G-Man. They look really, really good next to each other. And that's really my review on the 1954 Godzilla here. This figure kind of holds a legacy, you know? It's one of the very first Godzilla figures that was released and that had like a lot of good quality. It's from the very first wave of all of the Bandai Creations Godzillas. These guys came out back in 2002. The Burning Godzilla that I previously mentioned was part of that same wave. Obviously, there was other Bandai figures that came before it. In fact, this guy right here is older. But still, you know, this is the very first Godzilla, and it looks really, really good in vinyl form. I'm glad that I have it, and I'm glad that I have all these Godzilla figures here. Happy 70th anniversary to the Big G, of course. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.